with all these questions about Trump's temperament and staying on message, let's get straight to a top advisor to the Trump campaign, former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani. Mayor Giuliani, your friend and a finalist for Trump's VP slot, Newt Gingrich, told the Washington Post this week, the current race is which of these two is the more unacceptable because right now, neither of them is acceptable. Trump is helping her to win by proving he is more unacceptable than she is. Is that the way you see it? No, not at all. First of all, eight points down at this stage. Uh, of course, he'd rather be ahead, but uh, I remember George Bush the first being 16 points down to Dukakis going into September. So let's, you know, calm down. Every, every, everyone should calm down about it. Uh, there's certainly every uh, opportunity for Trump to win this election. And I think her comments, uh, Hillary's comments, just don't get the same attention that uh, Trump's do. For, for example, she lied to a gold star mother. She lied to Patri uh, Patricia Smith, the mother of Sean Smith, who, who was killed uh, at Benghazi, I believe, because of her incompetence, her incompetence in failing to secure that mission. And she lied to her on September 14th, 2012, right at the coffin, she said it was due to a video. So I think that's far more serious, or at least it should get as much attention as all the attention that was paid to, uh, you know, the comments that were made about, uh, about, the Khan, about the Khan family. Let's go back to Donald Trump for a moment. He, he is clearly a man who does not want to walk away from a fight. He does not want to apologize. So how do you keep him on message? Well, he, I, I think he was. I think his reaching out uh, and supporting uh, uh, John McCain and Kelly Ayotte in particular and uh, Paul Ryan, uh, who had been critical of him, you know, a couple of days earlier, shows that he has the ability and the understanding to realize that there are going to be disagreements and you've got to be able to uh, reach out to the entire party. I think you're going to see a lot more of that in his economic message. I also think you're going to see him hitting Hillary very hard. That, you know, she short-circuited. That was a heck of a comment. I mean, first of all, she lied. She didn't short circuit. She lied last week when she said the FBI found that she hadn't lied. You read Comey's report, he found she lied in about eight different places. So uh, uh, maybe short circuit is her euphemism for lying. But I don't know, did she short circuit when she didn't protect the Benghazi uh, compound when she got uh, 20 requests for more help? Did she short circuit during the Benghazi uh, uh, situation when if we had gotten people there, we might have been able to save Sean Smith and the other CIA uh, gentleman's life? Mr. Mayor, uh, as you know, there have been about 13 investigations into the uh, Benghazi. I, I, I want to go back to our poll. You've said this week that the fundamentals are still in Trump's favor, but look at some of these numbers from this poll unfavorable view of Trump, 63 percent, not qualified to be president, 61 percent, does not have the personality or temperament to be president, 67 percent. He now seems to be unacceptable to a fixed majority of Americans. How can he turn that around? That's exactly what I've heard the voters say this week as well. Well, he can turn it around by doing to Hillary Clinton what the Democrats have been doing to him. He, he, he can say, Hey, did she short circuit when she reset the relationship with Putin? Uh, and now Russia is, according to the New York Times article today, Russia is in control in Syria. I mean, we turned, we turned it over to them. Did she short circuit when she advocated for the overthrow of Gaddafi? And Libya is now an Islamic uh, state uh, uh, stronghold. Did she, did she short circuit when she said she's going to raise taxes on the middle class? Well, first of all, she is going to raise taxes on the middle class. I actually think that's the only truthful thing she said in about three weeks. Mayor, Mayor but, Giuliani, uh, I, I want to I go back to this again and, and stick with Trump, if we can, because you are on here as a Trump surrogate. This week, he was called unfit to be the next commander-in-chief by a very long list of people. Let me read it. President Obama, a group of former cabinet officers, senior officials, and career military officials, a veterans organization with 100,000 strong petitions set it on Thursday, and the former acting director of the CIA, Mike Morrell, who is my next guest, said it Friday in an op-ed saying that Trump is dangerous. Does that not concern you? Doesn't concern me at all. Uh, the fact is, I find, I find it a lot more concerning to me that Hillary Clinton was extremely careless 
in the handling of national security information, not just one or two, but thousands and thousands of pieces of national security information. I'm a former federal prosecutor, former associate attorney general. If I had done that, I'd have been prosecuted. It's a clear violation of 18 United States Code Section 791. What she did were criminal acts. She has displayed As the As you fact know, Mr. Mayor, Mr. She, uh, Director Comey said mis he would have to prove that there was intentionally transmitted or willfully mishandled classified information. Our judgment is that no reasonable prosecutor would bring such a case. And many reasonable prosecutors have come to the conclusion that they would have brought such a case. I would have brought such a case, and I would have won such a case, and I've prosecuted cases like that in my years in the Justice Department. Hillary Clinton skated because she's running for president. She clearly violated the law. And now, take Comey's words. She was extremely careless with handling national security information. You know, if that's written in someone's FBI background report, they don't get a top security clearance? If she were just an ordinary person, she would be denied a top security clearance because she has proved in her past acts that she is extremely careless in handling uh, national security information. I don't know, maybe she short-circuited when she wiped out 35,000 emails. Mayor Giuliani, Donald, Donald Trump has been raising questions about whether this election could be rigged. You've lost elections in the past and never really said anything like that. Is that an appropriate thing for him to be saying, do you believe this election could be rigged? I think what he's talking about is the very unfair media coverage that uh, Republicans get. I know all of those uh, of you in the media don't believe this, but you really don't treat us the same way. Uh, the, 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 the allegations by uh, Mrs. Smith, a Gold Star mother, about Hillary Clinton lying to her got about one-tenth of the coverage that the con situ uh, situation got. Uh, Hillary's, uh, Hillary's situation in which the FBI, in an extraordinary memo, found her to be extremely careless in handling top security information? My goodness, I wouldn't hire a person as an assistant U.S. attorney if that was in their FBI background. We're going to make a president of the United States? Nobody raises that. Nobody makes a very big deal about that. That's not on the news for five days, six days. So I think what, what, what Tr Donald Trump is reflecting is... Um, and I know the media always discounts this because you don't like to get criticized, but you don't treat us the same way that you treat Democrats. H H Hillary, Bill, Obama, they get the benefit of the doubt. And, I mean, if, if Trump had said something like, I'm going to raise taxes on the middle class, it would be all over the news. You'd be questioning his sanity. Well, uh, Mr. Mayor, we will look forward to the speech this <laughs> week by Donald Trump on the economy. We thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you.